Step into the realm of July 12, 2023, a day that etched itself into the chronicles of the college's history. Amid the backdrop humming with anticipation, a momentous symphony of collaboration resounded as the college management and the entry government hospital united in a triumphant crescendo, signing an MOU that marked the inception of an extraordinary endeavor. Hello viewers, this is Enchiko TV. We are here to you once again on special information about our clinic. See, our clinic is officially open, Enchiko Clinic. So we have student teacher doctor here. He, that, that's how I prefer calling him, but um, he's not a doctor, he's a nurse. So we are here to ask one or two questions and to get more feedback how the students are coping. Okay, so uh, be with us, be with us, be with us. Hello boss. Hello. I'm Ebenezer And I'm Benjamin. Okay. 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 Um, Lynch, how long have you been here? Oh, okay. Just okay. this month. We started uh, first of August. The first of August. 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 Okay. Okay. Just this month. Just this month. Mm -hmm. So how many doctors are there? Yes, sir. We are four in total. But currently three are available. Another one is from the only one. Mm -hmm. Nice. So uh, from the beginning I was saying you were a student teacher doctor. <laughs> but you were saying you are not a doctor, so can you give us a tip for you? Oh yes, okay. I'm a registered nurse with ATS with the experience. I first degree. I'm doing my master's I think I used to see you then. Yes. So I see so you all around. Yeah, all around. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Well, in this year we had a visit that in Chukopo was open. We were privileged to be chosen and found all of our colleagues to come and help us in the place. So, how are you coping now? Oh, as I would say, it's a nice place. And we're actually on it. The students are now getting used to it. They're now uh, patronizing. So, we are averagely. A fusion of minds and resources, an interplay of academic prowess and medical expertise, a dynamic ensemble, an intermanagement committee emerged from the union, moving with the threads of brilliance drawn from both the college and the hospital. So, will you be able to admit a student if? Uh, they, they need camps for which are admitted no, we don't admit students here. Oh, okay. Uh, currently, we do detention. Detention. Uh, admission goes. Please, can you explain the detention? Yes. For us? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like that, please. Which, uh, which we call it detain. Okay. So when you come and you are seriously, uh, we actually detain you. Right? We give you bed. We give you something like first management to actually subtitle a problem that we got in. So if it needs further management, then we move you to the hospital. But if you are okay within maybe two, three hours, then we discharge you and all our treatments. So what, what is the serious condition you have ever experienced yet? Oh, ever since we came here, yeah, we haven't had any serious problems. It was just uh, uh, malaria. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it was not all that fit, so we had to return here and manage it for some hours. But the time that we were about to, I don't know, it was okay, so we started doing a lot of treatment. This ensemble stands as the custodian of a newfound treasure a college clinic poised to transcend the ordinary. But this clinic is not merely a structure of bricks and mortar. It is an oasis of well-being, 
a sanctuary of health and a realm of rejuvenation. Its purpose is to weave a protective web of healthcare, embracing not only the staff and students, but also every soul that finds its way into the tapestry of the community. What are you doing your talent? Yeah. Oh, it's it's talent. It's the because you are closer to the boys, did you? <laughs> 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 uh, oh yes, but uh, the surprise by the it's where we find ourselves with that one. I wouldn't come with much of a challenge. No. Uh, but uh, our challenge that we will actually talk about is one is even pertaining to the students. Most of them don't have the national insurance. And even though it's a school play, but we run uh, in the national medical show because it's affiliated to the hospital. So everything goes back to the hospital. It's a little bit take money because we are long time. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do that. Yes. So that one is a challenge. So at times. Uh, so we come in here, we have to come with the national health National health insurance. Yes, if you have. Because if you don't, because then. I thought everything is filled. No. Really? Yes. I thought like that we school, so when we come now we take the medicine oh, and we go. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like that. Yeah, it's not like that. Not like so that. is it possible that sometimes when you go to the government hospital or any other hospital, when the medicine are not there, they have to write for you to go and grab. Can it happen here also? Oh yes, it do happen. It do happen. So has it happened before? Oh yes. Because as I said, we are affiliated with the hospital. And as long as the hospital is not happening, as I said, that means we too we will get the we take our stuff from the hospital. So, so if the person comes in, there's no need to come right to the person. There will then be a case where we don't have the medicine. Okay. So we have, but maybe the person needs maybe a job a little bit like five. We can have like uh, the, the, the person needs to produce the other one. So the person will go to the other hospital from outside. So outside, as I said, we take our stuff from the hospital. So, yeah. But uh, we are working on that. Actually, we discussed with the uh, health committee. So there are plans in there so as to actually cut that challenge. So that only can just be one stop shop where you are with all your things can be so the payment goes on here. Oh yes, please. So if you don't have the last minute, so you have to everything you do here. Yes. We receive the payments. Then we go to the hospital. We make payments, we take the receipts, then when we come back, we call the person that we call the receipts and so you can pass through for the receipts. Which we even have our receipts and we have others to we will come for the absence. Hey, come on. After they are okay, you don't need a return. Some of them will come, so they will come do when they need a ride. explorers of narratives, today we extend an invitation beyond the threshold of the mundane. We become you to embark on an exclusive Odyssey, one that promises to unravel the enigma dwelling within the very hearts of the clinic.
But let me just take you briefly what we do here. So when a person comes, we pick their biographic data, name, age, sex. And after picking your biographic data, then we pick your right outside which will help us to know if there's any abnormality going on in the time. Then we ask your wish actually your own name. So when you tell us, we do our assessment. So uh, our assessment, if there's any for us to do any other investigations, we do that. So because we don't have a full laboratory beside that, we run a few tests. Like the area, just like the hepatitis B, like the HIV, like the syphilis. Yes, we use the RDT, the rapid diagnosis, to do those tests. We use the RDT, RDT, yes, we call the rapid diagnosis test. Okay. What, 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 what? That one is faster. Okay, yes, that one is faster. You can use something like a mobile, um, you can hey. use it anywhere. Hey. Okay, yeah, that's. Do you, do you have some other than that? Yes, we have it and then try this. Western malaria. It's a model test to uh, do it once we have to write for the person to attend the visit in the hospital. The last thing that we go, will you do operation? Oh no, we don't do operation. <laughs> so when I start, uh, we are doing more of the OPD base. And you can see the OPD base, you come, and as, as I was saying, we run the test, we diagnose what the problem, and we give you treatment, and you die the problem. So if, if, if there's an injury, if there's an injury, we have a treatment room. Okay, we perform so I think we have treatment. to see the treatment. Yes. That, yes, yes. We, you take a shot. Yeah. Okay. We have our treatment where we perform any minor suturing in person. Okay, so viewers, uh, this is St. Chico uh, Clinic. We have student teacher doctor. <laughs> student teacher doctor. So you we'll go around, but we just want to have your comments. Uh, subscribe, comment, and share. Let us know what you want to know at the clinic or what you want to see. And the things going on, are you okay? Or you uh, maybe you want to come around, you want to have an excursion here, yeah, you are allowed. Let it, let's have it at the comment section. But now, um, you will take us around. You take us around. This place is our dispensary. Dispensary, okay. This is where we keep our bags and we dispense to Okay. Our so when you can, we just have to stand here. Yes. Okay. The client waits here. Then the one who is inside, I think, goes to the front. The bag is prescribed for the client. It has to be very well taught how to take it. Okay. The bags. The bags. If you have any questions, you are free. You are free to have the same. Okay. So. And on this side is the waiting area. Waiting area, okay. Yes, so yeah. one, and then you can have two or three people come in at the same time. Yeah. And you need to attend to one after the other. So, so do you have a nurse sitting here? And, and currently, we don't have a nurse. We have a person who is on the beach. Okay, so the person does. Go to the phone. You get in Amsterdam. Yeah. You will get there. You will get there. You will get there. Uh, actually, we allocated it for our uh, next door. Okay. We, we're giving the names, basically. First, when someone has the monetary system, so we introduce it. Wow. We get the next one. Like next job. Okay. The waiting area. Okay. So, so we are moved to the Mills Ward. Mills Ward. Yeah. Wow. So, Fibros Ward. Wow. Yeah. So, oh, we can go to the Fibros Ward. Wow. We can come in there. Okay. Hey, there's a washroom here. Okay. Hey, there's a washroom here. Ah, Charlie, hey, Chico, you are blessed. Four washrooms. Yeah, that's fine. 
まあ、ちょうどよくね、寝るのにしてもらっていいですか。A journey infused with tales of restoration, kindness, and ingenuity awaits. Walk with us as together we unfurl the vividness that have sculpted this clinic into a paragon of distinction.
Thank you for joining us on this special reportage. And remember, Enchico Clinic isn't just a destination for healthcare, it is a beacon of hope and healing for the entire community.